when you're young, um, everything is just all fun and games, you know, you don't, I mean, you have to be a little skilled, but like, as you get older, everybody grows and gets better with you. So I feel like um, us being together um, with each other along the way is really helped because we help each other. We know what each other needs to work on, what we need to get better at. The feeling of winning, the feeling of creating relationships and you know, friendships throughout the years. You look to your left and to your right before you walk out of that locker room and you know, these are the kids that I'm going to war with and these are the kids that I'll always go to war with regardless of where each of us, you know, decides to go. Me and Nia, we, we were button heads when we first met, um, fourth grade, because you know, it's always that competitive mindset when somebody new comes on the team. It's like a, she's not taking my spot time type thing, but we also didn't go to the same school. But once we all started going to the same school, then it was really like, we're stuck together, we're inseparable. Me and Ashley Bates and Keja Wubin, we are literally the three stooges is what Coach Kaz calls us. And so, you know, we walk in practice, you know, always laughing and always goofing off. Sometimes it's just like, we know what each other is thinking, so we'll just be sitting there and we'll just start laughing, just like out of nowhere. Nobody will know what we're laughing at, but we all have that. Like, we know what we're talking about, so that's kind of what it is. And it'll be some, sometimes it's something simple. We literally find maybe the dumbest things funny. And it's just, life is all about like laughter and joy and having fun, and that's what those two are. It's really bittersweet that it's ending because we've been together since fourth grade. We've been playing together, hanging together and everything. It'll be weird playing against her. I've done it before when we play in your AAU practice and I hate it. <laughs> um, she's very tough to guard. She's a very, very, very skilled player and I wish she got more credit throughout the years. With Nia, she's been like the tallest. Like, you know, it's hard to get a rebound over her. It's hard to stay in front of her. You know, she's quick. Just know if we're on the same team, uh, she catches a lot of my trick passes or she catches a lot of my very out of control shots sometimes and you know she cleans it up and uh, it's we have this really really strong trust that we built over the years you know I throw the basketball extra high and you never know like if someone else can get it but she just some out of nowhere just you know jumps and gets it. I'm the emotional friend so it's gonna be really bad for me I know I'm gonna cry a lot but um you know they'll shed a couple tears but it's just gonna make, when we reunite, it's gonna make it that much better. Losing them next year is gonna be difficult for me to like cope with, but luckily, you know, text messages really advanced and FaceTime and I'll be lucky to have them. I won't be able to get over how fun it was, like just being able to play with your best friends for so long and, and just being together all the time, like I don't think anything can replace that, can top that. The process of learning is very hard but obviously, as you see, like throughout the years, it's very well worth it. And uh, in the long run, I know that it'll benefit me uh, no matter what I go through there. And that's what life's about is, you know, getting, you know, running into rocks and overcoming it. I started off as a dancer. Uh, my mom had me in dancing and I hated it. Uh, my dad, my stepdad would come home from the YMCA every day after, um, after he'd get from work, you know, he'd be heading to the gym. and. Um, I really wanted to play basketball, so I'd be like, Mom, you know, can I go with him? And I loved just watching the sport and, you know, playing with the ball and, you know, getting a feel for the game. And so one day I kind of got the courage to work up to ask my stepdad, like, uh, do you think Mom would let me play basketball? And he's like, uh, you'd have to ask her, but I can do some pretty good convincing. I was like, okay, that sounds good. You know, I asked her and she was like, basketball? I'm like, yeah, basketball. And so we finally got started in the sport and at first my mom was a little shaky with it and then, you know, a couple years went by and I got pretty good and that's kind of how I fell in love with the sport. The little things, you know, the smell of the popcorn as you walk into you know, Champlain Park's gym as a young kid to play a championship game or something, you know. Um, the rivalries between, you know, Minnesota Stars and Farview or, you know, uh, the Monarchs at that age. And North Tartan, I guess, and Fury, it's just been a fun ride and it's the little things that count the people that you meet over the years. Maybe our first tournament out of town was where it really started for me like, well, this could be something good, like, you know, maybe I should keep going with this sport. And since then, you know, it's always a stress reliever whenever something's going on with me outside of, you know, basketball. I've worked on my passing a lot. Um, I've worked on my shot a lot, and I really work on being a well-rounded player. I don't want to be just one-dimensional, you know, playing one position. So luckily, you know, throughout the years, I played a little bit of guard, I played a little bit of shooting guard, I played a lot of posts and stuff, and so, 
it's good to have that attribute going on further in college is being able to play every position because that can be, you can be well used. My role model has always been the kids older than me that believed in me. Um, for instance, when I started playing basketball, I was with uh, Coach Jamal of Farview, and uh, I remember Tia Elbert and TT and Naja Woods and Tanoa all teaching me how to shoot a layup. The first time I learned trust was actually that it's okay to dribble the ball with your eyes closed, it's gonna come right back up. And I was so scared to dribble it off my foot, but you know, they trusted me with the ball and they, you know, they played with me. They, kept me going and it's been, it, it was great. It helped me a lot, obviously, in the long run. My left hand definitely stumped me, still stumps me to this day, but uh, I know that uh, I have to trust it when obviously somebody's blocking off my right. Kaz really emphasized, you know, what legacy did we want to leave? He just told it like it was. He, was, he kept it real. I mean, if you're not doing good, he's going to tell you when you're not going, doing good, but he's also going to tell you, you know, what you need to do to get better. And so he's created this, you know, really good shield of uh, skin, you know, thick skin before the, like for the next level. And I think that Hopkins is a great program to prepare you for that. He really did a good job of individualizing everybody, you know, making sure that everyone knows that he cares about them. And that has been really special to me throughout these years. And I haven't noticed until obviously, you know, my senior year is over, it's done. So he's not gonna be my coach anymore. And it's like, I'm gonna miss this guy. <laughs> the one thing that'll stick out to me is him telling me all the time, it's all between the years. All, it's all between the years with you. And from then on, he, he made sure that we trusted each other and that's what got us this far. Um, that was important for me, is the trust. And I wouldn't ask for a better coach. I think I made an impact on our younger players. Uh, you know, taking them, I don't think they expected to necessarily get that far at such a young age. So they know the feeling now. They know what it feels like to you know, lose in the state championship, but also, you know, lose as a team. And, Losing, you know, obviously no one likes to lose, but I, I loved every moment that I had to, that I got to spend with these girls. Basketball teaches you a lot of life lessons. Uh, one for me was, you know, working on, you know, keeping composure and keeping attitude and, you know, just staying on a straight path. And so, like for instance, the championship game, whereas like maybe three years ago I may have would have, you know, lost it and just, you know, absolutely would have been mad at some of the calls, you know, just kind of like let it go and it happens, I guess. When we'd lose, I'd be like, I could have done this and I should have done that and you know I'd sit and cry my mom's like you can't beat up on yourself all the time and so it was good for me to actually feel myself you know accepting what what was watching the kids above me uh, Nia Coffey was a great leader uh, TT was an amazing leader actually uh, I learned everything I know from her just mimicking what she does I mean and it's not even about what you say it's about what you do um, working hard in practice you know being the first in sprints and that's what Kaz emphasized a lot this year is, you know, being the first in everything, showing that you want it so other kids follow behind you. The recruiting process in general is one to remember. It's very stressful when, you know, you're getting calls back to back to back from colleges, you know, day and night, you know, seeing how you're doing, you know, seeing what's up, seeing where you're going to come visit, when they can come visit. But it's also one where it's just like, wow, this is really happening to me. I have the chance to go to college for free. That process was funny. Uh, but like going to Michigan State my, for my, I think that was my third time there, maybe my second or third time. And um, just the relationship I created with the coaches from freshman year on, it just sustained itself. It was a very stable one. Um, I remember getting my first letter from them. And I'm just like, okay, Michigan State, all right, that's nice. I love the fact that I felt at home there and it felt like a Hopkins type of program to me. And, Hopefully I can, you know, make a huge impact on there, you know, maybe knock off UConn or something. <laughs> you, know, you never know. <laughs> and the lessons that I've learned are, you know, you can fall down seven times, you get back up eight. And um, the adversity that you face now is not going to be the adversity you face later, depending on how you handle it. And so just always be willing to grow as a person, keep your mind open, because opportunities are knocking at the door.